Hey guys, we're here at Costco again. Let's check out the February deals and new items at Costco. Let's go. I also got a new mic. Hopefully it's better quality. Let's go. All right, so BB Go Beef Mandu has a star. It's not on sale, but it has a star. Once it's sold out, it won't come back. So I'm gonna repurchase one just to keep it in my pantry because I love those. And I did a dedicated review video in my channel. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. This is the Authentic Asia Shrimp Wonton Tom Yum Soup. It actually tastes pretty good. Ingredients are not clean at all. Not clean, but it's on sale, $3.50. Why did I buy it when it's not on sale? But that's okay. $10.40 right now, and this is what it looks like. But it actually tastes pretty good, and it's on sale. Not miss being approved. I wouldn't buy it over and over again, but it tastes pretty good. Check out my review video, link down below. You guys said that to review this. This is the Baby Go Vegetable Spring Rose. It's $3 off right now, $6.99. Let's see. It's like the box are all like snuggled in. It's what? It has soybean oil just like how I thought it would have. Um, fried and vegetable oil, which is soybean oil. For some reason, all the Asian food at Costco use soybean oil. It's like they agreed upon on this. Yeah, do you guys like it? Comment down below. I probably won't be purchasing this just because I'm actually like I don't eat spring rolls a lot in China. We only eat it once a, once a year. Maybe I'll buy it because the once a year that we eat it is usually the first day of spring, which is like close to the Chinese New Year, which is in February 10th. But if you guys like it, comment down below. Maybe it's me being cheap. I used to work at a Chinese restaurant for a little bit and like at chinese restaurants all the like workers we can eat the vegetable egg rolls for free i can eat as much as i want every single day so i ate a lot of them so i no longer eat vegetable egg rolls and also another thing is i feel like since i ate it for free for so long like I, it kills me to like pay to eat it i know it's like such a psychological thing Hey, this is a new item, the green chili chicken firecrackers. It has 30 counts. I may be interested in this because I love chicken. So this one is $3.50 off right now, $10.49. It's also on sale. But let's take a look at this. I actually am interested in this. It says no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, 8 grams of protein per serving from Cuisine Adventures. Let me try this one, $10.49. It's kind of like spring rolls, but differently because I already know what vegetable spring rolls taste like, so I probably won't try it, but this one has canola oil. Oopsie, it has Monterey Jack cheese. Interesting, mozzarella cheese. I actually want to try this one. The, the only thing that's like the canola oil that I'm not like super approved, but I could share this in a party or something. Firecrackers. Yeah, we're gonna try this one because I know what vegetable spring rolls taste like. I'm gonna try this one for you guys instead. I just want to do a disclaimer because in my video I talk about like not eating vegetable oils and stuff and the reason why we don't want to eat vegetable oils is like twofold. First of all, it's highly processed. Second, it's super high in omega-6 and it's inflammatory to your body. And the problem is like it's not like you can't eat omega-6, like you do need omega-6. But you want to keep that healthy ratio between omega-3 and omega-6. According to research, the recommended healthy ratio from three to six is um, one to four. But the typical American diet or the typical Western diet, if you eat all, a lot, if you eat those packaged food a lot, like it could go up to like omega three to six ratio, go up to like one to 12. And that's when it creates a problem. So it's not like you can't eat omega six. It's just the overconsumption of omega six that like mess up the omega three to six ratio. So that's why we try to avoid vegetable oil, but you can see that I still eat vegetable oil, but like in this packaged food, a lot of them are super high in vegetable oil, which is high in omega-6. I just want to bring awareness. There's another new item. This is the Chipotle chicken and the rice bowls. $14.99 not on sale, but let's take a look, shall we? Get it from Brandon for his office. So it has 23 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein. No added sugar. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at the ingredients. It has corn oil. That's It does have olive oil, but okay, so blended oil, soybean and olive oil. What? Okay, I may try this one. The only one is like the oil is slightly inflammatory, but chipotle and chicken rice bowl. Okay, let's try this. Maverick Foods. It has four bowls. It's slightly expensive though. $15 for four. So it's like $4 each. 
If you like the Costco mini tacos, the mini tacos of chicken and cheese is also on sale $3 off. Right now, $8. From Hakao is still here, $14. 89. It has a star, which means if it sells out, it won't come back. I just hit my knee right here. I hate that. It happens to me all the time. So I'm going to repurchase this because it tastes so good. <laughs> it's like a yearly purchase. Once it sells out, it won't come back. I'm going to stock up for the Chinese New Year for February 10th. So grab myself a bag of this. Dan, this Pomo one, potato and corn dogs is on sale $3 off. I bought it when it was full price. Duh. The sale ends February 11th. I was gonna make a dedicated video for this last weekend, but I didn't get to. Should I price match them? I feel like I could have price matched several dollars already. And also the Tyson chicken strip is on sale. I personally don't eat it, um, but if you do, it's on sale. So the Mediterranean flatbread and margarita is on sale, 350 right now, 849. I may actually get it for Brandon, because Brandon loves the margarita flatbread. It's not a pizza, I call it pizza. It's a flatbread. Let's see. After the sale, 849. The sale ends February 11th. Let's take a look. Sunflower oil, what? Other than that, it's not bad. They don't even have any preservatives. Have you guys tried this? Should I get it for Brandon? Actual size. This is the actual size. I think they will like it. I think like Brandon's office will like it. The seaweed salad is on sale if you guys are a big fan of this. It's $2 off. Sale ends February 11th, $8 after the sale. It's pretty good for the pack. And we got the Kevin's Paleo Korean Barbecue Style Beef. This one is also on sale for $50 off. $13.49. I've made a dedicated review video for this. Pretty good ingredients, grass-fed beef. And it doesn't even have soy sauce, it's coconut aminos. So let me tell you, this one, it doesn't taste like the Korean barbecue beef. It tastes like pepper stick. That's what I honestly think. It's The flavor itself is not bad, but it's not Korean flavor. It's more of like the Chinese pepper stick flavor, but $13.49 is a good deal. $18 is a little high for the item, but after $4.50 off, it's actually worth buying. So I do recommend this one, but just FYI, the flavor is more like pepper steak flavor. Another thing that's on sale is the beef and broccoli. It tastes good, but I don't think it's worth the original price. It's still $4 off. $13 is worth the price. This is grass-fed beef, which is pretty good. The Broccoli is a little bit soggy because, you know, it's packaged food. It's super salty. I will add some fresh broccoli, but it doesn't taste bad. So it's worth buying. $13. Really easy and convenient. Kevin's Natural Foods has pretty good ingredients, especially the white package. The white package is looks super low in sugar compared to the black package. The black package has way more sugar. You see the white one? It has like one gram of added sugar. So it's cleaner paleo versus this one. 12 grams of total sugar and three grams of added sugar. So it has way more sugar in this. Interesting. We have freshly cooked mussels with garlic butter. This is a new item, $9.89. Let's take a look. It's just mussels, butter, garlic, parsley flakes. Oh, really clean ingredients. Wow. If you guys like mussels, it's actually pretty good. Have you tried this? Comment down below. Is it worth trying? $10. So in the packaged food, we also have the seared salmon filet and lemon herb sauce. $14.99. Is it per pound? Yes, this is $30. It's per pound. Extra virgin olive oil and salted butter. It's actually pretty good. Love that. If you are too busy to cook, you can grab this one price per pound. So we got Vicky's Kitchen Organic Broccoli Chicken. And this one is $8 per pound. So I actually tried their stuffed turkey before. So this one thing is $23. So I tried the stuffed turkeys from this brand. It actually tastes pretty good. They give you a lot of stuffings than the meat, but the flavor is good. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Actually pretty good ingredients. I remember trying the turkey one from this brand and it's pretty good ingredients as well. The flavor is really good. There's a little bit more stuffing than the meat itself, but it looks just like the package they don't have false advertise which I love the price is a little bit high for what it is but it's actually pretty good I do recommend this Ooh, for Valentine's Day we got this La Cheek heart macaroons love that it's in the heart shaped macaroons as a star it's a temporary item let's take a look actually the ingredients is not too bad except for the fact that it has thickening agent which is carrageenan and xanthan gum which is not the best uh, the other ingredients are not bad at all other than the like emulsifier and the stabilizer 
that's the only things that are a little questionable but there are 25 macarons for like $14 this ingredient is so much better than the macarons that I saw at Target like Costco does screen like some of their product ingredients which I love it's so pretty vanilla and raspberry flavor and it's heart shaped so for Valentine's Day dinner we got this heart ravioli it's just regular ravioli with color and different shape Let's take a look at the ingredients. I believe it's like a color with vegetable juice. I remember trying this one year with Brendan. We liked it. It's nothing special. It's just for the look. There's nothing special about the flavor or anything, but it's actually pretty cute for Valentine's Day, $9.99. So the Snapdragon Chicken Pad Thai is on sale, $4 off, right now $10. It's peanut free, which is pretty good, but it's also not super, super clean. There's no preservatives, no peanuts, gluten free, right? But still has canola oil. Yeah, if you eat it from time to time, it's not bad. It has eight grams of added sugar. It's not a bad item. I wouldn't eat it all the time, but just to try it, it's pretty good. So I felt like $13.99 is too high for the price because chicken pad thai is not super expensive in the restaurants but after the sale, $10 is worth so I do think it's worth trying but not super clean ingredient So this 40% less fat potato chips is on sale I think just in time for the football games the problem is vegetable oils that's the only thing though, like it's not like you can eat vegetable oil but it's just it has it's highly processed it has like a little a lot of omega-6 and it's just I want to keep that one to four three to six ratio but this one is on sale three dollars off right now five dollars after the sale so ends February 25th Doritos Cool Ranch is on sale two dollars off right now five dollars the sale ends on February 11th also in time for the um, football game but guess what this is even worse because vegetable oil is so bad corn syrup solace that's bad and artificial flavorings is even more bad artificial colorings these things like when you give your kids to eat a lot of those it will lead to an increased likelihood of ADHD and stuff like that so this artificial coloring and flavorings are super bad for kids so this one is bad I would rather eat this at least it doesn't have the artificial stuff all right guys the Kleenex ultra facial tissue ultra soft is on sale I believe it's this one it is so much softer than the regular ones I only got it on it's when it's on sale because it's like expensive <laughs> but the sale ends February 25th it's five dollars off so I'm gonna give myself a pack of this like the ultra soft is like truly softer it's really truly better for your skin compared to the trusted care I usually use this because it's cheaper this one it's so much better but it's so much more expensive but it's on sale so let me grab a pack I'm gonna give myself another pack of this because $15 I wish it's on sale but it's not but it's very good high in protein and it tastes super good. Grab another bag of this. So Noosa is actually on sale. 330 off right now, 669. My husband loves this. He eats it as a dessert. It's like super high in sugar. 9 grams of added sugar, 16 grams of total sugar, only 5 grams of protein. This is why this is more like a dessert item rather than a yogurt item like it's a guilty pleasure to be honest so sometimes i buy it for my husband just as a dessert it's still healthier than other dessert but i wouldn't eat this on a daily basis because it's just like a sugary item Ooh, i can try this latte finally nice 20.99 is this one the oatmeal latte that i always wanted to try 12 pack 21 dollars for 12 pack but let's try this is it good I'm gonna go to a corner so we're not in anyone's way. Guys, let's try this oatmeal latte. It actually tastes super good. It makes me want to buy it. So good, actually. Let me take a look at ingredients again. I remember a long time ago, I said like I wanted to try it before I buy it, but it actually tastes so good. You can taste the oat milk and it's so creamy. It's like slightly sweet. It has like a very subtle vanilla flavor. But let's see the ingredients. So it has oat milk, cold brew coffee, dates, ooh, coconut MCT oil, marine collagen peptides, natural flavor. The only in ingredients that I don't always approve is natural flavor, but it also doesn't, mean that, but doesn't bother me that much. It has eight grams of sugar, but it's from the oat milk. It actually tastes pretty, it's pretty good. Yum. I do recommend this one. I'm gonna grab the coconut water for my husband for the shakes. $12 for six. This is my always 
repurchase item. Also, I just want to share that it's actually pink coconut water. I always forget to share in my video. This is what it looks like. It's actually really high quality of coconut water. Some of you guys said the pink coconut water actually has more nutrients. Um, that's why it's pink. But whatever it is, um, it tastes really good. It tastes better than normal coconut water for sure. My husband loves those. All right, guys. This Hellman's Real Mayonnaise Sauce made with cage-free eggs is actually on sale. So this one is $3 off. $6.99. So this one is $6.99 for this huge jar. But let's take a look at ingredients. Oh, the first ingredient is soybean oil. That is inflammatory on its own. It's super high in omega-6. It's not healthy. So I would put this back. But what mayonnaise should you get by just by adding extra dollars? grab this one yes this one is slightly more expensive a 99 slightly smaller bottle but look avocado oil this is so much better i bought this one this is the best mayonnaise you can get it's like super good healthy nine dollars grab this one instead japanese buckman 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 the japanese barbecue sauce is actually on sale 270 off right now 6.99 this is great if you want to make to japanese like um barbecue chicken it has pretty good ingredients honestly it has a lot of added sugar but that's just how it is with all the barbecue sauce so it has non-gmo soy sauce which is really good and sugar and stuff the ingredients are not bad at all they don't put any like artificial flavorings or anything 270 off right now seven dollars this is a really good buy and it's a huge bottle it lasts you for a year <laughs> unless you use it every single day it will last you for a year so love that seven dollars oh my gosh lesser evil is sold at costco now i used to buy this from whole foods but it's super expensive at whole foods so it's like four dollars per bag and it's small bag but now it's six dollars the lesser evil himalayan gold popcorn it's basically butter flavored coconut oil Ooh, let's take a look at ingredients they usually have pretty good ingredients they have organic non-gmo popcorn organic coconut oil himalayan salt organic butter type flavor the only thing is you don't know what type of flavor they add in but it's coconut oil. It's not like sunflower or vegetable oil. So this is really good. So I'm going to get a bag of this. This is USDA organic. For some reason, it's not in the green tag. But $6 is a really good deal compared to like other stores. So I grabbed myself a bag of this. Love that. And this organic variety mac and cheese pack is actually on sale. $5 off. Right now, $12.49. Ooh. Brendan loves these. I like the shells and real age cheddar. I think Brandon likes the um, the white cheddar, but mine's just the, my favorite is the shells. I did not like the macaroni classic cheddar. But let's take a look at the ingredients. So we have organic pasta, organic whey, organic culture cream, organic non-fat milk, organic dry cheddar cheese. It's actually pretty good. Organic cornstarch, then natural coloring. This is not too bad. I guess it does have the anti-caking agent but it's actually not too bad it's actually real cheese real powdered cheese it's on sale Nongshin udon noodles still on sale four dollars off right now fifteen dollars after the sale the sale ends february 18th not the best ingredients but it tastes super good it's just noodles and you add the soup but the flavoring is actually good and the noodles itself is pretty good it's good for emergency noodle dish or you can doctor it up it's quicker oats are on sale has three flavors cinnamon apples maple brown sugar and cinnamon spice this one is four dollars off right now 949 the sale ends february 12th but i don't think i'll buy this because look how much added sugar how much added sugar like that's crazy so it's too much also it, it's not organic i try to eat organic raw oats because like you know the way they process the non-organic oats they add a certain chemicals to process it um it also has natural flavors at the end it usually doesn't bother me but honestly i feel like why would it need to put a, a flavors in there like the regular oats is good enough so i will skip this item even though it's on sale it's not miss me approved all right guys this pumpkin seed and flax granola is on sale 340 off right now 599 so six dollars let's take a look well this is why i won't be buying this you're just buying sugar nine grams of added sugar is a lot whole grain rolled oats soy oil what yeah no it's bad 
it's not healthy put it back i think this is a new item my costco started selling these jackfruit dry jackfruit organic when i was in china i used to love those it has like a distinguished smell that not everyone loves 11.99 is do you guys like jackfruit comment down below let's see if the ingredients are good one ingredient just organic jackfruit um the dry fruit still has a lot of sugar but like i remember when it was a teenager i used to love those um, it's like a tropical fruit 11.99 love that this pistachio is on sale with the shells four dollars off right now 12.79 love that I'm waiting for this item to go on sale because i give this item to my baby it's still 13.99 it's a yogurt smoothie melts no added sugar super clean ingredients look just organic mango coconut milk organic carrots that's it no added sugar or anything um and though so brendan said his friends started to eat this as well 13.99 is really high but it's actually pretty good ingredients for your babies there are only four resealable bags in these but they melt in the baby's mouth, so it's pretty safe. Yes, I came here for this. The That's It Mini Fruit Bar says so finally on sale. Waited for th this to go on sale for a year. This is the third time I purchased this. It's currently $9.99, $4 off. The deal ends February 25th. I love it because there are only two ingredients. It's just apples and then the flavor, the fruit for the flavor. There's no additives, no nothing. So if you want a healthier snack or if you're craving for some treats, grab this one. This is like the best ingredient of fruit snacks at Costco. Grab this one. Ooh, I like this item. This is the organic crispy coconut rolls. This one is actually on sale very rarely. $2.40 off right now, less than $6. The sale ends February 11th. This one has pretty good ingredients. It's really crunchy. It's sweet. Um, it's still not healthy because it's a sugary item, but look, I have coconut milk, tapioca starch, coconut sugar, and that's pretty much it, and salt and stuff. So it's actually pretty good. It still has 9 grams of total sugar, 4 grams of added sugar. Don't overeat this, but ingredients are not too bad. It's a great snack. There is a new Loker cookie combo. This is new flavors, I believe, for spring. Ooh, I haven't tried these flavors. It's $11.99. I love those Loker Minis wafer cookies. So it has lemon flavor, vanilla flavor, and raspberry yogurt. Ooh, new flavor. Most of the times I think their ingredients are not bad. So coconut oil is pretty good. Glucose syrup is better than fructose syrup. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Granted that it's like still sugary item, but the ingredients are not too bad at all. These are so cute. Rochef. The Easter chocolate bunnies are here. This year, I think the Easter is in March. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Do you guys actually eat the chocolate bunnies? Comment down below. It seems like it's so huge. I actually never eat them like a real chocolate bunnies like this, but it's like so pretty. It has like different sweaters and stuff. Sun yellow, bright blue. Okay, the food colorings, it doesn't say if it's like natural or artificial. I would assume it's artificial. I was gonna say like, oh, it's good ingredients until I see the food colorings. You guys actually eat it or just use decorations? The Rocha Funnies is $15.69, so it's $16. So it's $4 each. And then the $11.49 is for this bunnies. Oh, these are the $12. They look pretty cute. They have four flavors, caramel, milk chocolate, sea salt caramel, and sea salt caramel. It's one milk chocolate, one dark chocolate. Extremely hard to read. It has palm oil in there. If, you're, if I'm gonna eat it, I'm just probably eat one. This is for like parties probably. This one is less than $12. I have the Lindell chocolate bunnies. Those are $12.99. Oh, so many Easter items. Sugar, cocoa butter, soy lecithin, and most of fire, bell malt powder, artificial flavor. I was gonna say it's not bad until I see the artificial flavoring. Oh, why would I have to put it in there, right? Chocolate is good enough. Why don't I just put chocolate? So this one is $13, not cheap, but it's huge. Do any of you guys actually eat the bunnies? Like, do you, do you guys eat the huge bunnies? <laughs> or do you just use it for decoration? Or do you share it? Like, how do you share it? Do you just pick out the years? Comment down below. Like, it's actually, I don't know. I feel like I've never really thought about it, how you eat the chocolate bunnies, $13. This Fit Crunch High Protein Bake Bar is on sale $6 off right now, $13.99. So $14 after the sale. 
but I wouldn't be buying this because the ingredients are not good. Protein blends include whey protein, which is actually pretty high quality of protein, but guess what? Vegetable oils, palm kernel and palm. So this palm oil, no. And then it also contains 2% or less of the sunflower oil and stuff like that. Soybean oil, sucralose. You, you may be saying 2%, but like, just consider how much sucralose you need to add it. Like, it's bad. And they have like coloring and stuff. Uh, so no, it's not Miss Ming approved. We're gonna put it back, even though it's on sale. And we, you know, we love the good protein, but this is not clean ingredients. Highly processed prime hydration stick is on sale $7, so right now $18. But let me tell you why I wouldn't buy this because if you look at the ingredients coconut water concentrate not too bad but then if you see sucralose what sucralose is bad it's artificial flavoring natural flavors and stuff like that so yeah not the best not the best just drink coconut water put some salt and put some potassium in there or drink body elmer this one not miss being approved and it's like so expensive too so in the past, Liquid LVs actually sent me some packs. I actually liked it. This is $28.99. This one is a sugar-free version. Let's take a look at the ingredients. It's not on sale. So it has aloes, which is natural. This is not bad. It has like a trivial amount of sugar. Not enough to declare it, but this is actually not bad. It has stevia leaf extract. Yeah, this is not too bad compared to the prime, but it's not on sale always love the organic broccoli from costco love that 5.99 always love the organic cauliflower i'm steaming some for my kids to cheat to eat it um it, when you steam it really really soft the baby can eat seven dollars so this bamboo organizers that you can put it underneath your sink it is five dollars off right now twenty dollars so would you like would you buy something like this i just feel like it's so bulky I mean, it is interesting, right? You can put it like this, but it's just so bulky. Comment on below if you think it's a good idea. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Cream Fragrance Free, it's still on sale. $10 off right now, $23. I love those. If you need skincare, grab yourself a pack of this. So I saw this item from the um, flyer. It's $10 off right now, $20 for two. It's from the brand Christine's. Um, it's extra gentle shampoo and extra gentle conditioner. Interesting, how gentle can it be? Nourishing and calming, softness, restoring, safe, shine, renew. Interesting, do we want to try it? $20 after $10 off. Comment down below if you tried it. I've never tried anything from this brand. I also just buy the Plantine, which I love. I also get Plantine from Costco, which is my favorite. Comment down below, should I try it? The deal ends February 25th, so we still have time. This shark vacuum robot is on sale. Matrix, $100 off right now, $300. The deal ends February 25th. I think it's good if you have open space, but like if your space is not too open, I guess it's not as beneficial. I tried the Roomba before. Like we stopped using the Roomba for downstairs because like um, it's too much a hassle. We have like too many chairs and stuff. But for upstairs, it's actually pretty useful. $300 after the sale. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and shopping with me at Costco. And also some of the deals that I featured in my previous Shop With Me videos, they still apply, so make sure you check it out. That's it for today. Comment down below what's your favorite deal this week at Costco and what are the items that you tried. Hey, check out my other Costco food reviews and I'll see you in my next one. Thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.